Take it easy. Your heart rate's already spiking. Look, I don't want anyone trying to contact my mother. Okay? I just, I just want you to leave her out of it. You must be pretty desperate if you think I'm the answer to your prayers. I believe in science. I believe in coincidences. But if I could help you with whatever you need, go ahead. It's been on my heart and on my conscience for a long time. I've been in this church on my knees praying a lot. What's on your mind? Your son. You know what? I want, I want to get... Hey, hey relax. You? Dominic, listen. I don't want to have you sedated. I don't want you or anybody else trying to Dominic, contact my mother. We need to get a hold of your mother. Or your father or somebody else in your family. If you need a transplant, your family is a difference between life and death. I see now how good you are with Michael and with Morgan. And I am so sorry. Olivia, what is this about? Dominic. What about him? Um, I heard that you're paying his medical bills. Yeah, well, what's the least I can do? I mean, he... He rescued Morgan and got injured. Yeah, well, this whole carnival thing was supposed to be my baby. You know, it was supposed to be a, a day about families having fun and raising money for a good cause, and now it just turned into this terrible tragedy. And You're not responsible. Yeah, well, so I, am, I am, about? I am, I am. I approve the layouts and the security, and uh, there obviously should have been more barriers and more... More something. I'd be surprised if we don't all get sued. You, this is way too much guilt, even for a nice Catholic girl like you. Oh. I'll say a couple extra Hail Marys, just in case. Okay. okay. I hope God answers your prayers. And what that message was supposed to mean. Okay, so um, I'm just going to assume, in your infinite wisdom, that um, that you don't want me to break my boy's heart and blow his life all apart unless it is absolutely necessary. Doctor comes to pray, things really can't be good. Well, even I need a little help every once in a while. Yeah, I've been looking for answers myself. A little bit hard to come by these days, even in here. You told the front desk that you would be in here if there was any change in Dominic's case. Is he okay? So far, yeah. I just found it curious that you'd be willing to put yourself on record, all things considered. Well, you know, I um, I was in charge of the carnival. And I just wanted to make sure that he's getting treated right, you know? You know, when patients lie to their doctors at times, it ends up killing them. But for some reason, the patients still lie. For instance, in Dominic's case, I know that both of you are not being honest with me. Why would you say that? Olivia, I'm not here to judge. Dominic is my patient. The fact that you are his mother could make a significant difference in his treatment. Am I right that neither Sonny or Dominic know that they're father son? Nobody could possibly know that. Olivia, I got you that. Relax. Listen to me. I didn't say anything. But the fact of the matter is your son is not in good shape. If he needs a kidney transplant, you've got a lot of explaining to do. Okay, you're right. 
You're right, I need to get myself tested. I need to get all my brothers tested. Maybe we could even test Sonny for match, but we can't, we cannot tell Sonny that there's any kind of a genetic connection. Do you really think that Sonny's gonna give a kidney to someone that he doesn't know? Can't we just cross that bridge when we get to it, Patrick? Sonny is Dominic, or Dante's father. <sighs> Olivia, Sonny has a right to know what's at stake. Son's life. I was, I was just uh, in the right place at the right time, you know. Mm, I wasn't. I watched my son frozen on the path of a speeding car, and I ran after him, knowing I wasn't going to reach him. He could have died right in front of me, but you pushed him out of the way. You asked me to look after your kids. No, but it wasn't just doing your job, you know. It happened too fast. You could have saved yourself instead of Morgan. One of these days when you're a father, you'll understand what that means. Man. Who wants to be a father? Your kids look up to you, they worship you, and then somehow you end up letting them down. They sue you. For emotional abandonment and point out what a, what a jerk you are. <laughs> you know, for somebody who doesn't have a father, I mean, or didn't know his father, you seem to know a lot about them. Oh, I know a lot about hero worship. What it feels like when you get disappointed by that hero, you know? I feel like that's what's gonna happen with me and Morgan, like I'm doomed to disappoint him. Morgan has a talent for sizing people up, I guess. I guess he was right about you. Does that mean I get a raise? <laughs> You're gonna have to just settle for a compliment at this moment. All I'm saying is that, you know, my boy wouldn't be half bad if he grew up to be the man you are. You know, Morgan's a pretty good kid. He just seems a little lonely. Pardon my saying so. Uh, hey, you know, we used to spend a lot of time together, me and Morgan. Well, his mother remarried and that uh, changes things, right? No, it goes back to when Michael was shot. Another time my best intentions blew up in my face. I don't think I know what you mean. Uh, Michael wanted to visit me uh, at my work. Legitimate work at the coffee warehouse. My fiance brought him. Kate Howard, she's uh, Olivia's cousin. Anyway, um, there, was, there was a sniper. And he took a shot at me and it ricocheted and hit my son in the head. Carly had me sign away my boys, so I barely um, saw Morgan. I, I still don't even know how safe they are with me. If if you stop seeing Morgan, he'll blame himself. He'll think he did something to make you stop coming around. Is that what you did, blame yourself? <laughs> I've, uh... I've never really said that out loud before. I didn't want to hurt my mom. You know, when my father walked away, I said that I would never do what he did to any of my kids. And it took me to grow up to finally forgive my father and know that people do things for different reasons. There's no excuse for not making an effort. And I think you're, 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 your dad's a damn fool to not even try. <laughs> <laughs>